So let's get a little more in depth into our shading options here. My shade tool palette window here is still open. I've got my perspective viewport selected. There's our rendered viewport, which can be chosen here with a left click. Then I right click to return it to wireframe. Shaded viewport, which as you can see is flat shaded. Shaded a little differently. And I can click here to toggle that. X-ray viewport. Now with the left click there, as you can see what I've done is Despite the fact that these objects are still in preview mode and overlapping, I've shown you the complete wireframe for each object. With a right click here, I have my ghosted viewport. And that's interesting. What that does is overlaps the objects entirely. And because they're translucent, you can see both the wireframes and the objects themselves through each other. Then again, we can return to wireframe viewport with a left click there. I can toggle shade selected mode, which will simply shade the ones that I have selected. And then here I could capture this viewport to a file as a picture, as a bitmap. My render mesh settings can be found here. Render mesh quality, jagged and faster, smooth and slower, or custom, which I could then specify. We'll just leave that as the default. And then, of course, our basic shaded preview. So as you can see, there are many different options to shade or preview your work. When we get into the render section, we'll be talking a little bit more about how we can color these objects. Now another option that we do have in terms of just shaded previewing, object, color, if I choose red, my objects will preview red. And then all of my tools can still be applied. My ghost viewport, my ghost preview, my x-ray preview, flat shaded. Now render shaded, as you can see, returns it to the default white color because the render colors of my object remain unchanged.